um, so what happened last year? Ha, I was filming uh, the residency for Beatport and I was using different locations in Palestine to do so um, with the help of the um, Ministry of Tourism. And uh, one of the shows just went south. Um, um, we were filming in a compound which had a mosque, a bazaar, and a, an area and a hostel, etc. And some guys apparently heard about the filming, thought it was a party, and decided that it's not appropriate to the place. So instead of us them t telling us calmly, they decided to come and start yelling. But the thing is that the story was also growing meanwhile. So it started with uh, there are some settlers taking over the location and destroying it, you know, and then it turned to that it's um, some people just trying to hurt Muslims. And then they were like, oh, no, it's just this Palestinian person. So when they came, they were angry because it, it, they thought it was completely a different thing. Um, and so there was this public, it just went completely viral without us knowing. Like we barely, like by the time I got home, it was viral. So I didn't even see it go viral. Um, wow. And... All of a sudden, everybody in Palestine was talking about it and asking the government to do something. So the government did what anybody would do in a public opinion case. They come and follow the leads, you know. So I expected that next day they were going to come pick me up to talk. And they picked me up, but instead of talking, I was like, they talked to me. But I discovered in the talking that I was getting detained, actually. And it was just, it wasn't just talking. Wow. And uh, yeah, and then I went to prison for eight days. Wasn't fun. But um, with that, we were going to investigation every day. Um, we were going to courts, to all these things, until all the data was presented to the DA. DA, yes, that's what you call it. Uh, <laughs> everything was presented to the DA, and they just let me out. Um, and of course there, there might be a trial and everything, but they, they agreed to let me out on bail because the investigation was done and they didn't need me anymore. And yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and so you're, yeah. you're at the moment, you're just waiting to hear if you have a trial in the future. 